What's up everyone, Tom from the Airsoft headquarters here and welcome back to the channel. Today on 5 Minute Fixes, I'm gonna be spending a couple of minutes talking about locked gearboxes. Now, there are a couple of reasons why a gearbox may become locked up. Obviously, we see these more on battery powered systems because they're utilizing a contained gearbox assembly. The culprit that we see these locked gearboxes occur are gonna be from beginner base of rifle systems or somewhere around the intermediates. Very rarely do we see these from the Pro Series of rifle systems. Now, typically when it comes to those rifle systems, players will be utilizing what are called nickel metal hydride style of batteries. While these are the most suggested style of batteries and obviously are gonna be some of the cheapest options and some of the uh, go-to options for a lot of beginner players, there does need to be some considerations and some things that you will need to watch as you play with these. Now, when it comes to lock gearboxes with these rifle systems, typically it is from the cause of battery uh, energy levels being too low in order to turn the gearbox over. So what happens is with nickel metal hydride specifically, not so much with lithium style of batteries, the amount of stored energy is equivalent to the energy output, meaning at the fresh start of a uh, fully charged battery, you're gonna get the fastest trigger response and the fastest rate of fire. Halfway through the day, a little bit slower trigger response, a little bit slower rate of fire. Most of the way through the day, the slowest rate of fire and the slowest trigger response. I mean, you're having to slowly pull that trigger because your gearbox is just slugging through the entire rotation of those gears. It becomes really, really slow. And I have an example here for that. So we have here a partially charged nickel metal hydride that we're going to stick into a rifle uh, that is going to be shooting around 300 feet per second. So even though it is a slower uh, shooting rifle system, a little bit lower of spring tension, we still can see that the lower amount of energy is going to be a cause of a lockup. you guys clearly heard that rate of fire slow down. Even though the rifle itself was on full auto, that rate of fire just slugged down to where it's just stopped entirely. That's because with a battery that is not fully charged, I mean, we put this on for two minutes, uh, it does not contain nearly enough energy in order to cycle through uh, a compl uh, complete rotation. So what happens is, I'm actually gonna demonstrate here. So as the gears turn over, and this happens with every single shot, the gears have all the teeth in order to pull a piston back. Now what happens is with most rifle systems, a couple of exceptions, but 99% of the rifle systems, that spring has to compress within the length of the piston here. So that means this entire length of spring has now been condensed to this much space here. Now that requires a lot of energy from the motor and for the motor to turn over that much compression, it needs a significant amount of energy in order to you know, get it past the breaking point, which is right about here, where there's no more teeth on this gear in order to push that piston back. And the piston has just a fraction of a tooth in order to release all of that energy, slamming it back forward. So as we finish this rotation, pushing forward on that piston just a little bit, bam! Right there is when we have all of that energy being released and pushed and slammed forward, which compresses that air volume and sends it behind that BB. More physics stuff for another five minute fix. Now, we have this gearbox right now locked up, meaning that if I try to put this battery back in and try to put it on safe or full auto, it's probably not going to do anything. It's going to remain locked up and it's going to click a bunch. Now, the biggest thing that I want you guys not to do is do not continue to pull the trigger. If your gearbox stops turning over, don't continue to try to pull the trigger. That continually pulls more energy from the battery and goes into the wiring system. That is how batteries start on fire, how motors start on fire, how contacts or even MOSFETs will burst right? Because there's too much energy going into the wiring system and it has nowhere to go because that energy isn't being spent in the motor getting it to turn over. So I'm going to demonstrate by putting this back in on semi. Now 
we can hear that that motor is trying to turn over, but it's at that point where it's just a couple more teeth and it's going to release all that energy. It just doesn't have enough. Now, the fix to this could be waited in a couple minutes like we did here, flipping that switch into full auto, and maybe it has enough energy in order to complete the cycle, which is a jump start. Now, this battery is completely dead. We can slide that off to the side. Now we have a fully charged battery, and we're gonna plug this guy in, still sticking with the nickel metal hydrides, flipping it into full auto, and it jump starts the entire system. So it was able to break past that first or second tooth in that rotation and release all that energy. So now we have this unbroken. And I showed you how to do that. Now, disclaimer, that isn't going to fix every single lock gearbox. That is going to fix most of the lock gearboxes. If you do get to a point where your dead battery is completely dead, you take a fully charged battery, plug it in, flip it to full auto, and try to jumpstart it and nothing happens, don't continue to pull at that trigger. Bring it in to a technician, us, we'll be able to break that rifle apart partially in order to release some of the tension inside of that gearbox. Some of the things that we can do, but this is going to be someone that knows rifle systems and how these things are going to work internally, is we can partially disassemble that gearbox and we can release that tension reversely. So actually, I don't know why I put that spring back in there. So if we go back and start rotating this, uh, the other direction. So if we get to a point where the gearbox won't release with a fully charged battery, what we can do is we can go inside of there, release some of the tension so that the gears turn backwards. So it is, will indeed create a shot. It will compress some of that air volume, but the gears are turning in reverse and we're not forcing it any further than it has to. So there's a couple tricks that we have as technicians in order to fix some of those lock gearboxes. Um, and that is what I have for you guys. Um, these can be resolved with lithium style batteries as well. It doesn't happen nearly as often, but it can happen and you can do that same uh, resolution step with your lithium batteries. That is all that I have for you guys here. So if you guys do have any further questions, put them down to the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. But we're all done here. So you guys take care, stay safe, stay positive, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.